I'm Gary Martin, one of the PGA pros from Huddersfield Golf Club. And today we're going to be talking about some of the biggest mistakes that people make when they buy golf grips. So one of the biggest mistakes I see when people buy golf grips is that, you know, they will, they will choose a style of grip and they'll generally match that grip throughout the whole bag. So starting from a driver down to a, a lob wedge, they will have the same style of grip. And, you know, I'd be an absolute hypocrite if I said that I'd not made the same mistake before. Um, and it wasn't until I did a training course with Cleveland, I went down to the factory and did a little bit of a training course on custom fitting. And it was then when I discovered, um, you know, when tour players are getting fitted, they'll tend to be fitted for different grips throughout the bag. And the reason for that is, is because, you know, when you've got your sort of driver or your, your longer irons, you sort of, ideally you're wanting a grip for the for, for ultimate sort of control and grip. But then once you get to your shorter irons, so your pitching wedge and your, and your sound wedge and your lob wedge, gat wedge, you know, them kind of clubs down the lower part of your bag, you are looking for more feel, all right? So, you know, I'm not saying that you're gonna end up with different size grips. I think you should keep the size consistent. However, I think the actual texture of the grip and the and the softness of the grip should become softer in the lower half of the bag. And, you know, I've experimented with this myself. And so on my sort of free wedges, my gap wedge, my sand wedge and my lob wedge, I'm now using like a tacky, a Golf Pride 2G, they call it, which is a lot spongier and softer. And honestly, you know, I do feel, I mean, you, you need to try this, guys. I feel like I've got, it just feels, I, I get more feel and feedback from the club. I just, I don't know, I'm like pressing on the grip a little bit more and it really does enhance the feel. Uh, but then on the other hand, I really wouldn't want that in a driver. You know, in a driver, I like to feel that I've got a very, very secure grip. Um, so in the, in the woods, I use the, um, you know, corded, corded grips. So I think there's something to be said for that. You know, if you are looking to buy some grips this year, just consider before you order 14 matching grips, whether, you know, you need a full cord grip in your, in your wedges or, or, you know, whether you, you need a multi-compound in your wedges. Do you actually need, you know, sort of like a firm, firm grip or could you benefit from something a bit softer and spongier? So there's a little bit else I want to add into this as well. And it, it comes down to thickness. I'm gonna change arms because uh, that one's aching. One of viewers says I need to have more um, more spinach. Um, yeah, I think you might be right on that one. So the other thing we're gonna talk about now is thickness, and I'll tell you who's really good for this. I went on Golf Pride's um, website. I went on Golf Pride's website last night, and just having a look at you know what custom fitting guide they have for for choosing the right grips. If you're not aware about that, go on their website and have a look. Golf Pride. They offer a free custom fit on grips. I'm gonna turn around because there's a bit of wind over there and not quite got the best audio set up yet. So they offer a free custom fit on grips. So just to give you a little bit of an idea, um, you know, firstly you're gonna start by measuring your hand. If you haven't got a tape measure, you can even put in what glove size you are. And then it asks you some questions, you know, about, you know, what's important to you when you're buying a grip, you know, is it, is it feel? Um, you know, there's a few questions in there. But ultimately, it's gonna it's gonna tell you what grip size you are, and that's the main thing we're looking for in this one. So, getting a bit out of breath. <laughs> I've been told, and it's and, and it's true. If Vernon's watching this, he'll be uh, he's my biggest critic. He'll be saying, "Gaz, you need to slow down talking," because <laughs> I keep getting out of breath. <laughs> um, I'm just having a laugh. I'm not even editing that one out because I think it's funny, and uh, you know, obviously, eventually I will improve. I've just got to keep doing it. So anyway, let's get back on topic. So you're doing the fitting, obviously it will suggest sort of styles of grip to you, but the main thing is we're gonna get size. So once you've got the size, this is a static fitting. This is based on the size of your hands. However, when you're choosing the size of grip, you've also got to consider what shot shape you're hitting. So the ball flight you hit, does, does the club face, is it open? Is it pointing, you know, if you're right hander, is it pointing right to target? Or is your club face closed and does it point left to target? Now, this conversation is irrelevant if you miss the target both ways. But if you've got a consistent shot that misses to the right or a consistent shot that misses to the left, for a right and a golfer we're talking here, um, then you could use the grip size to enhance your performance. 
So I'll just go into a little bit more depth, try and keep it as simple as we can. So I'll give you, I'll give myself as an example here. So for me, as a as an amateur golfer, my bad shot always used to finish left. I used to pull the ball left. I used to so sometimes start the ball a bit right of target and, and it had it finished to the to the left of target. So everything was missing left. So I had a fitting with a pro and he sort of you know measured my hands and I was a standard grip size and he suggested that I go up to a mid-size grip so I went a little bit thicker in the grip and it really did help me hold off the release of the golf club. So you know having a little bit thicker thicker grip than 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 is statically measured for you can help you hold the club face or not release the club as much you know and vice versa you know if you've the golfer that misses the ball to the right and you know let's say you're statically fitted for a standard grip you might go for an undersized grip just to encourage that little bit more release and that you know encourage you to square that club face so you know i wanted to get them points across you know i think it's a great time while we're in lockdown and obviously we're not playing golf and especially we you know being that time of season where i think think people are going to start to think about the grips on the club to just sort of touch on that subject and uh, you know i hope i hope from you know that knowledge that i've i've shared with you there you know just give you a little bit or a couple of things to think about for next time you're looking to you know replace your grips if you've enjoyed that guys i'm gonna do a little i'm gonna do a few more topics based on sort of club fitting and you know tips when you're buying clubs because i think that you know we're quite fortunate in the uk that custom fitting is pretty common practice and uh, and obviously you know it's, it's almost a free service at most golf clubs but i do appreciate you know there's people that are limited to being able to get a fitting you know and i'll give you an example i was talking to a, a guy in america and he was saying that a custom fitting is like 180 dollars upwards and then i spoke to someone in, in canada and um, he was saying that to actually get a fitting at a retailer he had to travel over 100 miles so you know there is limitations for people and i appreciate that so i'm going to set um I, i'm going to set some what well, can't get my words out here I'm going to set some folders, so I'm going to have some folders where we've got custom fitting, where we've got coaching, um, you know, and a few bits and pieces. So you'll start, you know, you'll start to see that my YouTube channel is a lot more organised, so that you can follow different topics, you know, a little bit better. So yeah, if you've enjoyed that, uh, this is going to go into the sort of custom fitting and uh, folder, and then we'll be dropping some more in there as well. So I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye.